Travelers to Grenada can present an antigen test taken 24 hours prior to their arrival in the country. This is one of the changes announced by Acting Chief Medical Officer Dr. Taisha Donald during the government's weekly post-cabinet press briefing on Tuesday and which will take immediate effect. PCR testing within 72 hours of arrival will continue. She said the adjustment to some of the COVID-19 regulations is based on Grenada's vaccination status. Our entry protocol will now be accepting antigen testing within 24 hours of arrival to Grenada and will continue with PCR testing within 72 hours of arrival. So that change will be antigen testing within 24 hours of arrival. I know this is a very good change for a lot of persons in the diaspora because PCR testing is very difficult to access and it has been a problem. A lot of flights have been canceled as a result of inability to get results on time. Therefore, with this new testing, we expect that persons would be very happy and we would have more arrivals coming to Grenada, persons on vacation and persons to visit their families. As part of procedures to control community spread, Grenadians were required to sign on entering establishments for record keeping purposes. Dr. Donald said this will be discontinued, but temperature and vaccination status checks will continue. As a result of this, we thought, we thought it necessary to have a stop on contact tracing measures, meaning that we no longer have to do registration on arrival at different establishments with your name, contact number. So basically what we're saying is that when you go to the supermarket, when you go to the restaurant, you no longer have to sign in. However, please note that we continue to do temperature checks and check in for vaccination status. So the contact tracing requirement would be stopped. And we just wanted the public to know that. I know a lot of persons have been asking about it. They wanted to know, you know, why are we still doing it if we're not contact tracing? We, there's no need to contact trace anymore because we're in community spread. There will be no distinction of travel moving forward. Health Minister Honorable Nicola Steele said visitors entering Grenada by sea or air can all enjoy attraction sites, culture and cuisine without the confinement of bubble tours. In the same way when somebody arrives fully vaccinated uh, at Morris Bishop International Airport um, with a negative uh, test, which up to today would be a negative PCR test, they are free to leave and go anywhere in Grenada. So too is a cruise ship passenger. So the issue of, of the, the restriction or, or only fully vaccinated persons at the cruise ship terminus is not a given there. The issue of the passenger coming off being able to go to the various establishments around St. George's uh, and or, or in Grenada, they are now free to do so once fully vaccinated, coming off of a ship that has been granted what's called practique. In other words, that they, they don't have any other diseases or infections or so on, on the vessel. There are 368 active cases, 107 new cases were confirmed on Monday, February 14th.